you doing, Ram Team? It's Trinity Sanders. You get tuned once again into the infamous Living Room Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. We're wrapping up the month. We're wrapping up the I Am Worry Free Challenge. And I can probably say by now, folks, I, I would say that we are, you know, well into being worry free. I mean, if you are on this worry free challenge and you notice a difference, make sure you speak up. And let your voice be heard leave a nice comment below and let us know how this i am worry free has helped you out but anyway folks let's get right down into it the truth about awakening 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 y'all done heard people say you know people waking up oh man it's the dawn of a new era it's the new millennium and all this and that you know well the truth about awakening is well if you ask me personally i would say if you ask me, I would say that it has a lot to do with this technology that we have access to nowadays. It's like everywhere you look, people are looking down at their phones. You know, it's like everybody have a laptop now. I remember like 10, 15 years ago, it was like nobody could afford a laptop. I know I could I could not afford a laptop. I used to dream about a laptop when I was in middle school. Like, oh my God, I need a laptop. I'm so broke. So nowadays, that's totally different. Nowadays, it's like everybody got a laptop. You know, and the same thing with TVs. You remember once upon a time the TVs had the like huge backside of the TV. You know, the TV used to look like those old computers that were like this big. Now TVs are flat screens. You know, you can see the picture in 4K Ultra HD. We living in a new time, folks. This is the Aquarius age, the age of information. So I believe that has a lot to do with why people are coming to their senses. We are learning more. All the information that we didn't have access to it's like man this technology is like running rampant it's like we can talk to people in another country like i met so many people around the world today the first thing you need to know about awakening is that it happens on the inside folks you know it happens on the inside i think for so long people have been giving their power to like outside forces and outside things time goes on evolution always changes evolution always changes and, you know things that were once the same it begins to change too nothing ever stays the same in this world and we all know that so when something goes on for too long and people get used to it of course they're gonna start doing something else different i mean this is this goes with your business this is companies this is with your relationships you gotta start doing something different in your relationships from time to time and not she gonna leave, bro. It's, it gets boring after a while. You know what I mean? So you gotta be able to switch up the program. And that's what evolution has done. Like we have switched up the program and went on the inside because we realized that the inner world, the inner self matters the most. The next truth that you need to know about awakening. Now this is one of the key things that you must know folks. And that is reactions, 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 reactions. It's just like YouTube, engagement, 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 folks. The way that you react to circumstances and situations is what's going to create the results for your future. That's why I always tell you, folks, no matter what people do to you, no matter how mad they try to make you or no matter how upset you may get, I don't care. Girls, you got to stop getting jealous. You got to stop getting jealous and acting spiteful. Okay, you got to stop doing this. This is a new age now. Now it's about energy. So if you carry this insecure, jealous energy and try to take it out on somebody else, it's going to knock you back like 50 yards. You know what I'm saying? So females, make sure that you protect your energy. You know what I mean? And that's by reacting in a positive way. You know, if men coming at you from left and right, no longer can you react negative and expect him to come chase after you anymore. That's that's getting old. You got to do a new thing nowadays. Now you got to act positive and still be able to tell him no in a positive way and move on. And I do this all the time. Like nowadays, it's like my reactions are so great nowadays. It's like, y'all, I literally have gotten so good at reacting positive to things. It's like. For instance, when I first get inside my home, you know, I'm always by myself. I'm always by myself. So it's like when I get inside my home, I realize this is the time where I like to talk to myself a lot. And you got to be careful when you're by yourself and talking to yourself a lot because you can tell yourself some negative things and your imagination could, you know, lead you through all these paths and thinking paths and stuff like that, which are really negative and stuff is not even really happening. So you have to be very careful and watch your thoughts when you're by yourself because this is when like deception and trickery of your negative side and your lower side tries to like you know influence your higher side so it's like when i hit the crib and i get in here in my house or whatever i don't even try to react to anything like if i forgot to turn my air on and i get back home and the air is not on i don't even get mad i just 
go turn on the air. You know what I'm saying? Or like if I want to cook something, but I don't feel like cooking something, I don't say to myself, "Dang, I gotta go cook something, man." Dang, I don't, get, I don't feel like cooking, man. I don't, I don't do that no more. Now I just, I just get up, I just get up, I just go, and I just make me something to eat. You know, like once upon a time, I remember like I used to hate to meditate because I felt like it was so time consuming. You know, so now it's like when I feel like meditating, which I do every day. Um, you know. I don't even worry about like the time consumption that it's gonna take to meditate. Like, have you done that sometimes? You're like, oh, I gotta meditate. I don't want to meditate, and it's like you're really not even doing nothing. You just laying there. You just sitting there. You just probably listen to Bob Norio beats or something like that. But once upon a time, to me, there used to be something that I didn't feel like doing when it was nothing that I had to feel to do. You know what I'm saying? And so now it's just like I just lay, I just lay on my back in my bed and I just take myself you know, into this clear consciousness and I just, I just meditate and, I, and I'm done. And I'm, when I'm done, I do the next thing. And so the point I'm trying to make here is that, you know, what I do is I try to keep calm thoughts. You know, I try to keep myself calm by not even reacting to thoughts that come in my mind. You know, now I have gotten to a point where I can talk to myself without talking. Once upon a time, I used to be walking around the house like, you crazy, Trey. Boy, you crazy, but Nah, you crazy. Like, I was really doing some crazy stuff, you know what I mean? But now I've humbled my thoughts. Now I can just walk around the house and just like... You know, I'm just so peaceful now. And, and so that's what it's all about, folks. Reactions. Create only positive reactions. Another truth about awakening is that a lot of people are afraid of awakening. A lot of people are afraid of this inner change and changing their, you know, thoughts to be in power of their reality. You know, a lot of people are afraid of that nowadays because for so long we've always thought that the outer world is what controls me and makes me be who I don't want to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we've so we've been so trained and programmed to think that, you know, Everything out here tells us who we are. You know, if we don't get to watch TV, it's like, oh, I'm a little crazy if I don't get to watch TV so TV can, you know, entertain me. You know what I mean? And so it's like now things are different. And so a lot of people are afraid of the truth of awakening. You know what I mean? A lot of people fear the unknown because it's different. It's different. I know when I started on my journey of awakening, man, I went through a lot. I went through probably some of the same things you already went through. And um, that's like anxiety. I went through anxiety panic attacks. I remember one time when I was studying numerology and I was telling this to my life path 11 group today, when I was studying numerology on my path, I started to like um, think that numbers were chasing me. I was studying numbers so hard thinking that it would bring about some spiritual awakening, but it was a part of the process. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I got so tied up into numbers. I was like the Einstein at that, at that time of my life. And I was like being chased by numbers everywhere I went. And it was, it was, I was just going crazy. Y'all. I was just going really, really crazy. And so, you know, it's fearful. It's fearful because what you're doing is renewing your mind. You're changing your mind through learning and self-development. And it's scary because when you begin to change your mind, you begin to change your reality. And then when you when some people see that the reality is actually shifting according to what the, the work that they're doing on the inside, it's scary because here you are just you know, once upon a time, you used to think you was this little mere mortal, this person of no power who could not do anything with, with their life like I used to think about myself. And it's like now you start to see that you have power and it's like, oh, so, you know, we fear the unknown. But the truth is, folks, ye are gods. We're like many gods. I mean, we're not going to be like the universe. We're not going to be perfect and in complete harmony at all times, but we are a form of that. We are an image of that. The universe is on the inside of us. And the fourth truth about awakening folks is that this is this is how we supposed to be. This is what it's really about. You, you got to have inner peace. You know, you got to know that, hey, what matters most is how I act. What matters most is how I feel right now. I can't let anything around me throw me off my course because I know it it, it starts on the inside, like when bills start to show up and pop up and, you know, I don't think things are going to get paid on time and, you know, your boyfriend don't show up on time. You think he might be out there cheating. Your, your imagination starts going to these thought patterns and start making you think negative things that aren't even really true. You have to say to yourself, you know what, like, no, I have the power. This is my reality and I'm not going to let it be shifted by negative things that pop up in my mind from energy vampires and, you know, negative energy that tries to come in and tries to shift me. I'm not going to do it anymore. 
You know, I have the power to be at peace. I have the power to have a sound mind. And that's what it is right now. I have a sound mind. Nothing's wrong with awakening. I'm just becoming more intelligent and smart. You got to think this about yourself. You're just more intelligent, more smart. Things can no longer get to you anymore. You're doing great things with your life. You're walking into abundance. You're walking into prosperity. You're becoming more rich. You're becoming successful. You're starting to get friends. You know, you might run up on your your new husband or whatever the case may be. Don't be scared of this stuff. This is how it's supposed to be. This is who you were really created to be, okay? And don't let negative energies try to bubble up in your mind and take that away from you, okay? So again, folks, if this message is resonating with you, I need you to press the thumbs up. This is how you confirm it, okay? This is how you confirm it in your reality by saying this was for me. So if you believe it, then you can receive it. In the meantime, folks, I'll see you in the next video.